Ghostly greetings, my dudes. Ghostly greetings, and it's your boy, Prue, so holler at me. Second video I'm recording today, hopefully second of four. We're talking about Vindland Saga, book one, or Finland. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is an amazing, it's a graphic novel, so don't be like, oh my gosh, it's so long. No, it's a graphic novel. Um, Thorfinn is a young child, just living his normal life in the northern reaches of Viking land, I think Norway or Sweden or something. I had some trash on my chair. I'm sorry. I was making all the noise. Uh, but was raised, and they played around. They fought a lot. But his father, um, um, I, who's, who's honestly, I forget his name. They call him a troll. <laughs> uh, is a very former experienced soldier. And the book goes through Thorfinn's childhood. And then a lot of it deals with his father's past. And this has a really weird ending. And it sets up book two perfectly, which is on its way here now, actually. Um, I want to go through this book like I used to do. Plot, characters, story, pros, cons, how I enjoyed the, the whole journey of this thing. Uh, the plot, as I said, is Thorfinn is a young kid and he goes to war for the first time with his father. That's basically the plot. It's a Viking story from the Middle Ages uh, with family and cool character. Now, so I'm going to give the plot a B. It's not the most original of plots, but it definitely spoke to me being a big fan of... Um, I want to say medieval, but technically this is pre-medieval because it's the 8th century. But being a fan of Viking warfare, and this definitely read, read like that. Uh, I like the character as a child, and I like his father. But I also like that the story takes off as a kid, father backstory, then back to the kid. Showing me that the kid will be the main protagonist throughout the film. I think we met the main antagonist film book. I think we've met the main antagonist antagonist as well at the end uh, characters Thorfinn's awesome all honestly all the characters are badass Thorfinn Askiad um, I'm gonna fuck up these names um, it's it's fucking sick uh, I really like all the characters a lot of them do seem cardboard cut out -y. like you have the Viking guy with a sword Viking guy with an axe you know like his friends are just replaceable roles in a party uh, but the characters that, that do ask you the father, Thorfinn, they all have strong emotions and they definitely are growing and some reach really cool levels of a personal growth, even in the first books. I really like the characters. So A plus on characters. Pros, um, it's easy to read. It's a graphic novel. It's about Vikings and you get into it really quick. Actually, as soon as you pick up on it, it feels like it's done and it doesn't let up. It's a fucking page turner. Cons, like I said, some of the characters are cardboard cutouts that just serve a role. Like you meet a guy, Big Sword Knight. They have a conversation, a big berserker on a ship. Uh, you know, big old psychic barbarian motherfucker. And he's all like, let's fucking go. But he's, you know, that's his job. That's his whole thing. You can literally cut him out. Like nothing made him stand out from any other random tough guy in any movie. Journey. How'd I enjoy the Finland saga? The whole journey. The, I don't even know. It was a very, very quick read. I loved it. I thought this was cool. I liked the characters, and I thought it was a lot of fun. I've already ordered book two from the library, uh, and this has been a lot of fun. I like the characters. I like Vikings, and I like sword fights, so this is right my alley. Bring your boyfriend, guys. Stay creepy. Deuces.